Alrighty, we have an awesome construction update from Carowinds today. So uh, thank you to Carowinds fans only for the footage. Um, and boy, did he get treated to something special, which you'll see after this clip. So this is the dorms that they're working on over at Carowinds. Not much uh, significant to look at, just some pre-work. It looks like, again, I'm Canadian. So when I'm in Toronto, Canada, I don't necessarily know all the details that's going on in the park, and I'm gonna make mistakes here and there. But for the most part, people do update me um, very well. So again, thanks to Carowinds fans only. Go check them out on Facebook. Um, so as you can see, the coast is coming along nicely. They have two of their uh, vertical loops done, um, and they got the weather. Uh, I don't know the actual word for it, but they got the weather kind of sheets on top of the roofing for the station going up and the uh, queue line uh, roof for the uh, freedom or the flyers. <laughs> So that weather permitting strips, I guess is what they're called, uh, is being lined up on the roof. So that's awesome. Here's some awesome shots from behind the construction fence from Carowinds fans only um, of uh, Copperhead Strike. So this is awesome. Uh, the shots look absolutely uh, beautiful and uh, super excited to see this project. Honestly, I'm really excited to see the theming for this coaster because one of the um, awesome aspects of uh, the coasters coming to the Cedar Fair chain in 2019 is their theming. So uh, totally can't wait to see that. Obviously I'm gonna be there um, in March when it opens uh, for media day. So I'm, I'm excited for that too. Um, but yes, look at that sunset and the setting of the copper tones on the track on this coaster. It looks absolutely stunning. Cannot wait to see it. This thing is supposed to have some really awesome tight turns on it, thus the lower speed of the launch. So um, it's got a lot of hang time incorporated into that as well. But look at this shot. The track is definitely more brown than copper, in my opinion, I will say, especially up close. I did notice that a bit ago when the track started to arrive. I did notice that it was more brown than copper. That's totally okay. Uh, it still looks awesome. I'm definitely not a brown track tone hater. I definitely like Yukon Striker, Valraven, and Copperhead. Um, but yes, what's going on over at Hurler is um, regular maintenance. So let's not get too excited. It's not RMC Hurler. Um, it looks like they're retracking Hurler. So that's awesome. Anytime they're improving an attraction, even if it's just regular maintenance, is awesome. So when you go to Carowinds next year, expect a smoother turn <laughs> on Hurler, which is awesome. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this construction update. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great one. Bye.